We prepared income statements in the past, but chapter 11 is about looking at them in much more detail. So where do they fit in the accounting system or process? We have our transactions, they get recorded in journals, they get posted to ledgers, we do a trial balance, and then we make our financial report, and that's when we've been doing the income statement. And what we learned was to do that, we needed to make closing entries, so that was in chapter 10. So closing was when the balance of the account is reset to zero at the end of the period, and we did that for all revenues. In this case, we're closing sales to reset it to zero. And we also do it for all expenses. Why do we do that? The two reasons were, firstly, so we can calculate net profit for this period. And secondly, so we can reset the balances of revenues and expenses to zero, so we can calculate profit for next period. So in this case, we can see the profit loss summary account actually tells us whether we made a profit or loss. So looking at the uh, profit loss summary account on the left, you can see revenues are 9,400. Expenses of $5,100, that's a profit of $4,300. On the right, we've got net loss, uh, in this case revenues of $5,900, expenses of $7,800, and ends up with a net loss of $1,900. So I guess if we can tell whether we made a profit or a loss purely from the profit loss summary account, why do we even need to do an income statement? Um, the problem with that ledger up, up above is it's not easy to understand. Think about someone who doesn't have much background in accounting. They might look at that and go, well, did we make a profit or loss? It's not entirely evident what, what, whether we did or not. Secondly, we can't actually tell what our revenues were. There's just one giant figure and one giant expense figure. So understandability is about can someone comprehend its meaning easily? And you'd have to argue that just looking at the profit and loss summary account, you can't do that. So what we're going to do instead, because that's not easily understandable, is we need a report to set out all the info in the profit and loss summary account, and that report is the income statement. So looking at this, how we'd set that out is instead of the profit and loss summary account as a ledger, we'd produce an income statement. So in this case, we put the revenues at the top and we break them down. We say that was cash sales of six, credit sales of 3,400. Less your expenses, so it just says 5100 in the profit and loss summary ledger. We'd like to break that down in the income statement to wages, rent, and insurance. And then we can figure out net profit of 4300 So it doesn't actually tell us anything different. We can see up here that the capital account or the profit and loss summary account has a transfer to capital of 4300 So that tells us that that was net profit. But that's not easily understandable to everyone. Uh, whereas a giant figure called net profit at the bottom of a report, that's very easy to understand and interpret.